hello guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing great today merry christmas and happy new year in advance today i'm going to do a quick simple tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make a tube skirt i'll show you the fabric we need and how to cut it and sew it Okay guys, this is what we'll be needing. We'll be needing this beautiful red fabric. This fabric is a stretch fabric because the skirt is not going to be having a zip. So you need a fabric that have some stretch to it. It's a neat fabric. I got about two and a half meters here. So it's a neat fabric. It's a winter fabric. And we need a measurement tape. We need elastic for the waist, the measurement, chalk, and of course our rulers. So that's what we are going to be needing for this tutorial. Okay guys, let's start. Um, so what I have done already is I have folded the fabric into two. I got two fabric here, one for the front, one for the back. So I folded it into two. So making it four fold. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take the length of the skirt. The length of the skirt is 35 plus half an inch on the top, half an inch at the bottom to sew it. Uh, we could do maybe one inches at the bottom, half an inch at the top because we are going to put elastic. We are just going to sew the elastic on top of the skirt, the waist. So 35 plus some um, one and a half inches. That will give us 36 and a half. So I mark 36 and a half. That's the overall length that we need. Just take your ruler and roll it across. Let me just cut it off. Divide the waist by four. So the waist divided by four, and then you mark it down. And then you are going to add half an inches sewing allowance because this fabric is stretchy you don't need a lot of see it stretches you don't need a lot of allowance so i'm only going to add half an inches allowance to the waist or you could add one inches okay i'm going to take the way, uh, hip measurements now um, but first i'm going to measure from the waist to the hip length. So that's where the hip starts. So from there, I'm going to mark down the hip measurement. So the hip measurement divided by four.
divided by 4 plus half an inch is to sew it. And now you can mark this hip measure, you can mark it all the way down. Remember it's a tube skirt, it has no zip. So there's no zip allowance. Just mark it all the way down. When you get to the bottom side of the skirt, when you get to the bottom side of the skirt, you can mark in one inches just to give the skirt shape at the bottom so it's not completely just straight because we are a bit more narrower at our bottom towards our leg side we are a bit more narrower so you take the hip curve the hip curve ruler and you connect all the marks together Hope you can see what I'm doing. Take your hip curve and connect all the mark together. machine take it to the sewing machine and join the sides together you just place them right side to right side right side to right side right side to right side take it to the sewing machine and stitch half an inches or if it's one inches you had stitch it all the way down it has no slit at the back that's why I'm using a stretch fabric a knitted stretch fabric so you just sew both sides sew both sides together sew both sides together hem the bottom Hem the bottom one inches and when you finish sewing it or you can hem it the bottom first before you sew it whichever you just fold it once it's not going to fray it's a non-fray fabric so you just hem the bottom after that you take your elastic after that you take your elastic once you've joined them Together at the side, you take your elastic, you sew your elastic to the top, you sew it all the way around, and then you flip it inside. It goes, you turn it inside so the elastic stays inside. So 
Once you finish doing that, you can top stitch it if you want, or you can leave it like that, and that's it. Okay, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. I will sew the skirt together and show you. Alright, thanks, guys. Bye.